Master One Feather, can you tell us why we would get a naming ceremony? Absolutely. I think that uh, you know our linear society assigns people names based on pop culture, whoever the most uh, uh, immediately visible actor or actress is, often is, uh, you'll see a whole section of society or a, genera a part of a generation being named after uh, highly visible people in social media, that sort of thing. And uh, we name our kids with, uh, you know, that uh, generational thing where uh, it's uh, either your your parent or your grandparents name that you carry on and all these things are traditionally very good but if you go into tribal societies not just Native America but all of the tribes it seems had a tendency to give names to um, children that were typical of the vibration of the moment and that were uh, perhaps exposing uh, that person to the world in association with an event and uh, with Native America you find that the individual will receive a name at birth and then they'll receive a name perhaps after a vision quest or you know major life-altering event an act of heroism uh, when, whenever you are going through uh, profound changes in your life, your vibration, your identity goes through a change also. And so a naming ceremony is capturing the idea of tribal consciousness and it's taking that next step up and uh, making a strong statement to the universe around you that I have changed, I have evolved, my vibration is different and so I, I want to have a name that reflects that uh, the integrity of this vibrational shift. So that's why most people come to me looking for a naming ceremony is because they've made a major step. They've gotten a divorce, uh, they've changed career steps, they've had a profound spiritual experience, whatever. But they want to have that vibration of this transformative experience they've had uh, you know, attached to them. They want it to, to become a part of their life. Oh, I just love that so much. So in, a, in your naming ceremony, what, what happens? Well, basically what I do is I approach, uh, I approach it on a couple of different levels. I try to be as connected to spirit in the process, and I like to have one or two dialogues with the person that I'm doing the naming ceremony for. And then I go into spirit and ask for something to be revealed to me. And sometimes it takes two days, sometimes it takes two weeks, but nonetheless, uh, if, when it does arrive, uh, I, uh, I seem to get a lot of validation from the person when I reveal the name to them about how it connects synchronistically, not only with the events, but with previous experiences that they've been having that have been leading up to this transitional phase. So we start off with dialogue, then I do uh, my prayer and meditation around it. I receive the vision and at the same time I get uh, I'm able to identify the animals totems, uh, the winged totems, the birds, um, the plant kingdom, the herbs and trees and uh, the rock medicine images that come through uh, the rocks, the earth-based uh, um, part of your entire vibration. So you get basically a name and you get animal totems, you get uh, flying totems, uh, winged totems, you get uh, the herb and uh, the, the nature totems basically. So you're getting a lot of different uh, imagery, a lot of different uh, things that are collected together that give you a deeper sense of how you're integrated into your space and your time uh, at this precise moment in the unfolding of the universe. Oh, I am so excited. This is a complete bargain. You guys can come to onefeatherjournal.com and click under services. It's only $100 to find out all those things about your name and about how you vibrate. I'm super excited about that, Master One Feather. 
Yes, well, and you know, it's more than just uh, a bunch of dialogue. Uh, basically, I I kind of created a, a little bit of, of a uh, almost like a certificate, and then within that, uh, after I've received the vision, uh, I put together uh, a medicine pouch for the person who's received the name, and these aren't like commercially purchased ready to go things I you know I get the arrowheads from one source I get the actual medicine pouch from another and then within that um, I include a couple of different uh, stones that are uh, reflective of where you're currently at in uh, in this transitional experience they don't necessarily correlate with your medicine uh, or your power stones but they they are stones that were you can see this is a clear crystal in this one um, but they are stones that are reflective of the vibration of the name that I have received on behalf of the person so they've got that um, and then along with the certificate uh, I also include a little ego feather now, before the feds come down on all of us, uh, I'll do a disclaimer. This is, in <laughs> fact, this is in fact a turkey feather that has been painted, so it's a replica eagle feather. Um, if I were out there giving away eagle feathers, uh, I'm sure that uh, that the uh, <clears throat> federal government would be very disgruntled with me. Although I do have my own eagle feathers and I have the certification, so I'm able to use them in my ceremonial process. So it is kind of an interesting journey, um, and it is a strong and powerful statement that you are giving to yourself about yourself. You know, who am I? Where have I come from? Where have I arrived at? What is my sense of the future? All of these are part of the ceremony, and uh, I'm very organic in that it's based on Native America because I am... Uh, in fact, Potawatomi, I have my tribal identity number, etc. But there's, a, I also incorporate a kind of an organic vision. So I factor in people who are, let's say, from the Celts. You know, that was one of the ancient tribes. Or people who are aboriginal from Australia. People who are aboriginal from Africa or China. Uh, the Mongolian culture. All the different cultures. I try to... Um, align all of the various uh, identity energies so that you walk away feeling like you have been um, what's the word for it you have, you have received something that is a personal blessing as well as a source of empowerment oh I love it and this this service I'm really super excited about I cannot wait to find out what my name is and you can find out what your name is come on down to onefeatherjournal.com